here's where they put this pipe in for the detention pond. You can see that that gate valve is preventing, this is a 30 inch pipe, man. So you wanna talk about flooding a farm in, an, in a short amount of time. So it, there is some back feed because it's not, that gate doesn't have a rubber seal on it or anything like that. So there's, there's some water getting past it. But still, it could be a heck of a lot worse. Here's where that bank needs to be built up some. Yeah, we're not far away from an old, oh shit moment, I can tell you that. I might have to jump into some equipment. starting to look that way that's for sure I really don't care if it jumps the man bridge it doesn't matter this ditch is drainage for the uh, the property roots parallel right here look at that nice buck rub so right here, this is this is pretty cool. So we have this nice tall berm in between a very active ditch holding a lot of water and a retention pond. I'm walking down here because I seen something from the road. I wanted to make sure that the elevations over here are high enough. Now it's really windy today, but this is gonna swell up even more tonight and I'm going to be able to fly the drone over this piece of property and it's going to it's going to speak to me then I mean I I've already seen quite a bit see this is nice this berm is at a heck of an elevation you got the, the ditch all swelled up nothing's really moving it's probably back feeding the tension pond is all swelled up So this is the first line of defense right here, this berm. And then the on-site storage. This detention pond is for this farm. So during hard rain events like we've seen, it does exactly what you see here. It's all you know swelled up with water. The ditch is all swelled up with water. This area hasn't seen this in a while because I've been waiting for it. Been doing a lot of work to this property, and every time something like this happens, I got to look for the next weakest link. Man, great deer hunting here too. I'll tell you what, we got we got a lot of deer. All right, so. Right here, I notice you'd have to, you know, come up a couple feet, but this is probably about as close. This is probably the lowest elevation in this berm, right here. I mean, I could dredge out the detention pond, you know, make it a little deeper yet. Put the dirt over here if we need it. Now this is real high elevation here. You can see this, really nice and high. And the ditch narrows up. They ran out of dirt on this project. I know that for a fact. I know the developer. So they might've took the side of that ditch bank out and widened it just for the dirt. There's all kinds of little ways to, you know, find more dirt. You got to manufacture more dirt. This is all looking real good. Elevation's really high. I like to record this for my own needs because obviously we can't work dirt in this weather. 
Only a fool tries to work mud. And yeah, I've been a fool. Years ago, as a young guy, I would sit in the mud spinning my wheels. Pun intended. All right, so that farm field's flooded. Big time. See the tension area? Holding a lot of water. This farm is uh, holding its own, basically. So that's the good news. Yeah, things are looking really good here. That corner man-made lake, that's where I'm heading to. All right, okay, so, all right, I'm gonna get up on the highest point because I can see water slowly coming in. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna need some dirt in here. Not crazy amount, because we got such high elevation here, but we gotta start with that high elevation. And then this low area, bring it up some more. I'll tell you what, when that river jumps its bank and floods all these farms, this is, this is where it's going. It's gonna breach this farm in a couple key areas. And right now, everything is like pudding. And I can't move. I can't move trucks through this. So, elevation's going up. Elevation's going up. That's a good, a good thing right now. Tension pond really swelled up back here. This hump between the ditch and the tension pond. Real nice elevation here. Really nice. This farm used to be underwater like that one. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Alright, so this road around man made lake I built up really high so the water. Working really hard to keep the water out. So you can see the farm field flooded, farm field flooded back there. That farm field's flooded, I gotta fly a drone over it. Yeah, we're looking good, man. We're looking really good. I'm happy. There's the overflow. So when that ditch goes down, and it's gonna take a few days. You know, all this water moves through. Here's the uh, overflow on the man-made lake. So, that detention pond is connected to this, all right? So, that 24-inch culvert, that was a 24-inch dual-wall culvert pipe. That's a balance tube for this detention pond and that man-made lake. If the man-made lake starts to swell up and take too much water, then it's going to go into the detention pond and vice versa. Now when the ditch out front that goes to the river finally recedes and goes down, all the water in the detention pond will go down and we'd finally get at the level of this balance tube. Unbelievable. All right, well, the farm is dry. That's the good news. The farm is dry as of right now. We sure got a lot of water in the detention ponds, the man made lake, and then we got a four acre pond that's no joke. Everything's holding pretty much damn near to its max of water. Man, building the bank up here is key. It was key. It was huge. Because all the other farm fields used to flood it. I went after it.
after the, the real problem areas. One after the real problem areas, and here we are. Now it's just some little details. But on a really, really big rain event, like several in a row, those little areas that this this storm here is showing me. Water sinks level, so all the water you see, it's all the same height. I'm telling you, that's how this works. Water's gonna help you out. All right, this is a swale, and when the canal gets too high, the water's supposed to back feed and then go with the detention. Another detention area for flood conditions, flood water. Man, we sure built this land up nice. I'll tell you what, you know, it's just kind of rearranged its furniture, so to speak. We didn't haul any dirt in, you know, we just shaped the land and, you know, we were smart about it. How it worked. It. Now everything's looking good. Everything's looking real good. All right, I'm going to take you guys on another drone flight. I'm going to show you some more. Since we walked on the ground and you've seen what I'm looking for, it doesn't matter. This could have, this could all be subdivisions, literally suburban area. These rivers and canals run through suburban areas. Now look at that bank. Somebody dug that bank out on the left side of the river, and you could see it. They probably... When, you know, usually when I see something like this done, they thought, oh, let's dig this bank out so that we can drain all the water out of our property. But unfortunately, when you do something like that, instead of just using a culvert pipe with a gate valve, a hinged gate valve, that's the right way to do it. So now the water just back feeds just you know, ridiculous amount, hundreds of thousands of gallons of water, millions of gallons of water. It's just crazy how much water ends up flooding all this property. It just devalues your property. There's the threat to your personal belongings, your homestead, and if you're in agriculture and you're a farmer, your way of life. This river and I, we have 20 years of history. And anymore, I'm looking for wins to better my batting average against this sleeping giant. 